Nice to have you with us. Here, I'm right here, I'm present, this is who I am, you know, 
that's got to feel great to be where you are. I mean, I'm like, I'm floating right now. I'm in the most carefree, I don't have anything to prove space that I've ever been in as an artist. I feel like I'm on my second earth life. And that started recently? Yeah, because there's life when you haven't healed. Like, you live that life. But like, after you've healed, that's a whole other life. You know, it's like, you have a clear... What's the record on music? You have a clear... You have a clear vision. Oh, that's my end. Born in Kansas City, Kansas, to working class parents, Monet had a precocious knack for singing and writing. Your mother was a custodian, father a sanitation worker. Oh, yeah. Where did performance come in your life? Well, my dad was a musician and performer. When I went to my grandmother's house, she was playing the organ, singing in church. So I never had a family that told me that I couldn't do it. When a short stint at drama school in New York didn't work out, Monet moved to Atlanta, where she co-founded her own record label, What the Land Art Society. Her early music caught the attention of Big Boy, of the hip-hop duo Outkast. They collaborated on several songs before she signed a deal in 2007 with Diddy's Bad Boy Records. Was there ever pressure along your rise to be someone else, saying, well, you should make me dress this way or make songs for the radio and all that? And if so, yeah. how did you ignore mm -hmm. that talk? Of course. Everybody thinks they're smart. And some people have really great ideas. But I mean, I just trusted me. And I think I had some meetings where I got told no. And I was just like, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if I'm going to walk in the room, I at least want to be told no because I was being my authentic self. The other flip side of that, though, is I think that it also made me feel like I had to prove something. I had to prove that, oh, I can talk about science fiction in my song, I can dress like this, I can, just because I'm black, like, I'm going to just sing that type of music, I'm going to be eclectic. Monet has shown her talent extends beyond the microphone. She played roles in the Oscar-nominated 2016 films, Hidden Figures. So I have no choice but to be first. And Moonlight. You think my joke was funny? Even while dressed for the future, Monet remains inspired by her past. Something I've heard you say that really moved me, which is why you said you wear a tuxedo often, which has become kind of a uniform for you. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, tied back to your childhood, right? Yeah. To your parents wearing uniforms. Yeah, when I put it on, I always think about my family. They work their ass off. So for me, I try to honor that in my work. It's like a gift and a curse in a sense, because you can work, 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 and you don't play, play, play. Like, I'm on that. I've worked <laughs> for a very long time, yeah. and I was super serious. <laughs> We are supposed to be having the best Earth experience of our lives. Why are we getting caught up in a rat race? Yes, we have to work. We also need to make time. You can find The Memory Librarian, already a New York Times bestseller, wherever you buy your books. Our thanks to Robert Restaurant at the Museum of Arts and Design in New York for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full interview with Janelle Monet, including a thorough explanation of that eye-popping designer outfit. You can find our conversation on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And next week, a new Sunday sit down with Academy Award winner Sam Rockwell on a prolific career that has shown two characters ranging from George W. Bush to Bob Fosse, and now one of the leads in David Mamet's American Buffalo on Broadway. Sam Rockwell, next week on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get a quick check of your local Sunday weather. A good Sunday morning in your office. Michelle Grossman tracking more clouds today. Also tracking the chance for showers, maybe even some thunderstorms later on this afternoon. Some could be strong. Here's a live look outside. Certainly seeing more cloud cover than yesterday. But we are mild at the shower. 56 in D.C., 55 in Hagerstown, 54 in Manassas. And tracking some showers off to the west. So grab the umbrella as you head out today. Warm tomorrow, 80 degrees. Tuesday, 78. Tracking the chance for more showers on Wednesday. Maybe even some thunderstorms and drying out on Thursday. Have a great day. Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of
of the week, including disaster in the bleachers as a baseball fan drops the ball, then his beer, and perhaps his relationship with the woman sitting next to him. We will assess the damage. But up next, the acclaimed restaurant that makes great food and changes the lives of the people who cook and serve it. All of them, when Sunday Today comes right back. Time.